Hi, my name is Travis Zajac, and Briar is my favorite puck nut. It's time to lace up those skates and talk about hockey with Walt, Bry, Ming, and Sunday Jeff. These are the Puck Nuts. Hey, and welcome to Puck Nuts, the number one sports podcast in America right now on iTunes. Right, right, guys? Yeah. That's it. Indeed. How fucking happy Ming is. Mm-hmm. I know. I've never seen him more excited in my fucking life. I'm ecstatic. I remember when his kids were born, he just walked in. He didn't look this fucking happy. He's he like, you remember that? <laughs> You didn't happen to take any pictures, did you? <laughs> he was taking pictures of the screen uh, of, the, of uh, what was this? The, the computer screen that said we were number one, right? Yeah. Oh, the screenshots. Yeah, he was taking screenshots, and uh, I, he has a, a bounce in his step. And I, I, you're really excited about this, right? I'm very excited. Why not, Ming? You're right to be proud. You know what? It showed me, if anything, like I've always been very uh, pessimistic growing up. And when you're young, your parents are supposed to tell you, like, you put your mind to it, you can do anything you want. And it's just gone to show that, like, someone who's had a negligible, if any, interest in sports their entire life can go on to be on the number one sports podcast in the country. I, uh, I think we have the perfect storm here, though. We got the perfect storm together. We rose up to number one. Really? What the hell does that mean, perfect storm? That, you know, what the, the gathering, the All the elements gathering. came together. All the elements. And oh, sp- yeah? Speaking of which, I think we should introduce ourselves, The Perfect Storm. <laughs> All right. I'm Walt Flanagan. I'm Ming Chen. Ryan Johnson. Sunday Jeff. All right. <laughs> what, what, you, what about you, Jeff? How did you feel you found out you hit number one in iTunes? I found out yesterday. I think it's, uh, I'm pretty proud. How did you find out? <laughs> <I'm pretty laughs> I found out from Mr. Ming over there. Oh, you called him? It's, no, when I was, uh, yeah, I was called over here. The difference between being number 300 and being number one is nothing. Maybe to you, You're but to some people. Feel good. <laughs> <laughs> what difference does it make? It makes a lot of difference. <laughs> if you come in a race, do you win the prize? We if you won or 300. Right, where's our fucking prize? Well, maybe that's yet to be seen. <laughs> I like that attitude, Jeff. This negative Nelly. Well, I brought him down last week, so I got to try to pick it up a little bit. Negative <laughs> Nelly, my ass. I, 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 he comes in today, and I was like, he didn't. I don't know if anybody is here, hearing the last week's show, we got Martin Brodeur to intro the show last week. This week, we have. Um, no small feet. We got another great devil to um, intro the show, but Jeff comes in. I'm like, man, well, I'm like, I'm ready for his reaction of like to be like, I'm ready to, for him to just melt when he walks through the door and be like, how the fuck did you get Martin Brodeur? Huge to Devils like, fan. He's he's gonna say it's uh, that's awesome, right? He that's goes, what he said, right? <laughs> yeah, you would think he goes, uh, what, you didn't get Kovalchuk. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what he said. I said partially. I was, I was happy that you got Mark Dambro door, but you do, is that how you're happy? When Ming, when you heard it, what did you do? I was, I was ecstatic. Not only was I happy, but my wife used those exact <laughs> words. Like, how the fuck did you get Mark Dambro door? She doesn't even like hockey. She doesn't like sports. So I would have thought you. I would have thought you would have been a little more excited. Yeah, my than friend that. Jill thought it was very cool too. I told her. I'm suspicious that Sunday Jeff is not really a Devils fan. <laughs> doesn't matter if you're one or three hundred. So it doesn't matter if you get Kovalchuk or <laughs> well, last week he, or Brad Door. He, he did say that they weren't going to be in the the Stanley Cup. That's not what he said. I never said that. Some shit. All right, let's go right do. now. Stanley Cup champion predictions this year. Sunday Jeff. New Jersey Devils. Brian. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> Ming. Uh, Devils in six. Devils and six. Devils and four. Wow. Man, you fucking play, idiot. I don't even know who the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How could you make Get such a fuck prediction? Out of here, man. <laughs> that was a test. <laughs> I, I just want to go. I just want to go to more games. So, all right. So, number one podcast. I mean, and Bry. I mean, how's it feel to be on a number one podcast? Does it feel any different than uh, than a number two podcast? Number two. <laughs> uh, no, but I think, like Jeff said, um, we got a mouthful of pizza. Uh, like Jeff said, the uh, fruits of our labor, uh, which took a week, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we worked hard to get that number one uh, yeah. spot. They, they could remain to be seen. Some advertising dollars coming in. Who knows what kind of hockey ass we'll all be getting. Well, I'll be getting. <laughs> Will you pass your hockey ass off on to me, Jeff, since you're married? Sure. Okay, thanks. All right. So we, that's the first, uh, first on the agenda. Cross that off. Number one on iTunes. Second, excuse me, second on the agenda. Devil's Team Barbecue was attended 
by the puck nuts. Well, half the puck nuts. 50% of the puck nuts were in attendance. Our first public appearance, and it was, I would say it was a fucking smashing appearance, right? And you say, Brian? Uh, yeah, well, it was productive, though a lot of people were kind of confused when they only saw two puck nuts instead of all four. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Sunday Jeff? Where's Ming? People were saying. I apologize. Even the, even the players were just like, I mean, where, where, where's the rest of the puck nuts? They were, they were wondering. Mm-hmm. I apologize. My, my mind was there. <laughs> Your mind was there. My heart was there. I was selling booty, man. That's, that's, that's what you want me to do. You want me to show yeah. something? <laughs> Daydreaming. <laughs> <laughs> they wandered off. They were lost for a couple hours. And yeah. the your heart wasn't forest. with your family in camp, and it was up in Brendan Byrne with us. And not Brendan Byrne. What is it called? Byrne. Yeah, what is it called? The, uh, Rock. the Rock. Prudential Center. Prudential Center. Yeah, that. Um. So you want? So we went. Me, and Bri. We, me, and Bri went up there mm-hmm. with our with our old boss, Tim, another big Devils fan, and um, it was pretty damn cool. A lot of people were there. All the, I think all the players were there. I don't know if any player wasn't there. There were a lot of people there, but at first I was like, oh, shit. It's like when we first walked up, there, the players weren't there at all, and it's just a bunch of different like areas set up for kids to play like um, like table hockey kind oh, of right, thing. The bu- bubble hockey. Yeah, and playing uh, like um, video game right. hockey and shit, and there was really nothing going on except for the Devil's Dancers. Mm-hmm. We're putting on shows and shit like that. We got for some free food. We did get some free food. Uh, I think it's a spectacular event, though, and um, another nod to Mr. Vanderbeek, best owner in sports. Was right. uh, He owns the Devils, Vanderbeek? Yeah. 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 Was Mr. Vanderbeek in attendance? I didn't see him there, but I'm sure he was there. I mean, we, His heart was there. <laughs> he, he probably was camping. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him a pass. He's got he's got checks to sign. <laughs> I wonder if other teams actually do that though, like the Devils. This is what their second year they've done this. Yeah, it's second. But I wonder if other te- uh, other actual teams do that for their you know the season ticket holders. Uh, I'm sure they do something. Um, we they, did what, wonder like why the fuck would they do it? Like what do they get out of it? Who? Devils. It's a great PR sure. you know, for the fans to get in there, meet the players that they adore, and um, get in. <clears throat> get a photo. It, it's just a great, great afternoon, and um, like I can't say enough about the uh, this new organi- this new mindset of the Devils. This fan friendly uh, atmosphere since they've come to the Rock is just it's really, really uh, impressed me. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> It sounds so insincere. I, I, I think you probably are sincere. But no, I'm very. I'm getting choked up. I'm talking about. Are you gonna cry? <laughs> <laughs> that the the first tears on any podcast on the uh, smart. No, actually, that's not true. Yeah, I know. Boy, who cried? Oh, uh, Kevin. About what? Um, he cries every week. Actually, right? it was hockey related. Uh, he was talking about Gretzky, and he got choked up. Really? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's let's move on. Yeah. Uh, this is man shit right here. We got. Going on. <laughs> There's no crying in hockey. No crying in hockey. <laughs> um, all right. So, want to play some of the clips, Roy? Yeah, we got some clips. Uh, we'll see how impressed you guys are with each uh, successive clip. All right. all right. Here's our first one. This is Matt Lachlan, and you're listening to Puck Nuts. What was his name? Matt Lachlan. Matt impressed. Lachlan. Impressed. Matt Lachlan. Uh, Look at Ming. He's looking around like you don't know who that is. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, radio, radio voice of the devils. There you go. Oh, he's not on TV. That guy used to be. Used to be. Mm. Used to be to Stan and I mean the Maven and the he filled in when Emmerich Matt was the away. Maven was his was his gig. He had like an in in between periods gig on the Devil's Telecast. Uh, I really like that guy. I think he's. I think he's he had he had a job in between periods. Yeah, he would interview players and then he would uh, interview a guy called Stan Fischler. Oh. Uh, uh. I thought you meant like he'd hang around in the men's <laughs> restrooms to like make sure no hanky panky was going on. He was a nice guy though. That dude. He's a yeah, a really friendly guy. Very accommodating. I have to really thank Matt Lachlan for uh, for doing that for us. Yeah, you're awesome. Thanks, no Matt. other comments, Ming? No. Uh, did you get that one or did Brian Spear I got had that, that one. one? Wow. Right? I that was the first one. I got that one. Did you? I uh, you approached him. Yeah, you did. You approached him. I secured Lachlan. Mm-hmm. It took the first three hours <laughs> to get Walt to approach him. Yeah, I was really nervous, man. Like, I was really like, I'm not. I just couldn't do it. And when it, when it was my turn to walk up to him, I just, I was like, petrified. I'm surprised he was there, though. I would think that was no. since it was a player event. I guess they he had was everybody a PR there. Of, the, of the whole event. They even had a DJ. Is that right? PR? No, what? MC. MC. He was the MC of the event. 
DJ uh, played crappy music, right. but uh, okay, who's our who's our second one here? Hey guys, this is PL3, and you're listening to Puck Nuts. PL3. Wow, he calls himself PL3. We I asked. Thought... We asked him to call. Oh, him you did. PL3. Okay, but he's. Uh... And then after I got him to call himself PL3, he's like, "Oh, he should have got him to say his real name, which I don't even know." Yeah, it's almost <laughs> unpronounceable. You you know who we're talking about? I would think it's Pierre Luc LeBlanc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Letourneau, um, you got a PL3. <laughs> big dude. Real big dude. Yeah, I'm sure I think he is. He's gonna, I, I'm sure that he's going to be uh, he's going to be taking care of some business this season. They can't get rid of him, right? They, will he still be here? Because is, is he one of the name up yeah, for a possible? Can't. No, he doesn't make that much money. It's it is, and they need a guy like they need a guy like him to fucking to clean to, house to clean to, house when it's when it's necessary. So yeah, PL. He said he was there for the free barbecue. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> how little he makes on the devils. <laughs> but moving hungry. him would be uh, would be would be not moving any substantial salary t- to uh, get under the cap. So. PL three, I would have is PL three is safe. We would have to think at this point. All right, Ming, not impressed. <laughs> you heard huh? it here first. PL three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am. Those two are very good. I would have been satisfied with those two. You would have been. Uh, that was the first two. So you would have been. You would have walked out of the barbecue. I wouldn't have just, walked out. I wouldn't. Uh, I would have been happy. I would have stayed until. I would have been happy. I would have stayed till the job was done. All right, yeah. let's go on because it gets better. This is Dino Zubers. You're listening to Puck Nuts. Wow. Look at that. The excitement <laughs> to be associated with Puck Nuts. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> so we started making fun of him right after. <laughs> right after he said, what is it? Di- Dino Zubris. He didn't sound hesitant, yeah. though. He just looked like he's, he, he went along with it fine. Like he didn't have a oh, yeah. problem. Yeah. Um, so he, I think he, a lot of people are afraid of me because of my size. They're like, I better say it. Well, you were definitely this taller than a lot, of the, a lot and taller and bigger than a lot of the players. So you, maybe they were intimidated when you walked up to them. I thought I was on their team. <laughs> <laughs> Trying out today. I'm the new guy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Zubris. Zubris. Yeah, he cool. might be on yeah, the Yeah, he might be. Yeah, we better. I, I hope, hope not. not. Yeah, I, hope I hope not. not he too. played really well last year, and um, I would hate to see him go. I'd hate to see any devil go at this point. It sucks that somebody's got to go, but I guess that's why they call it a business. You don't think it's going to be me, do you? The newest, <laughs> the newest devil. <laughs> All right. Next one's a short one. I'm not sure who this is. Hey, this is Bogdan, the catering supervisor at Center Plate, and you're listening to Puck Nuts. Brian, please get away from the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> now, how the hell did that get in? <laughs> so it was that's the guy awesome. who catered the event, I guess, at the, uh, wise at the Rock. That guy is. He, he had to go ask his supervisor, though. There were a couple people who, um, who uh, like, all the players... We're fine with it, but like this guy had to ask his supervisor. Not all the players were fine with it. <laughs> uh, no, not all of them. Uh, and the uh, Devil's Dancers, I tried to get them to say something, but no I go. think they understand. They're like they're going to be replaced like that if they say the wrong thing, right? Or they're associated with the wrong thing, right? I'm sure Brodeur yeah. is safe though. Like Puck Nuts. <laughs> right, yeah. I, I think Brodeur. I think Brodeur is pretty safe. His, uh, about being associated with anything at this point. So, yeah, you can actually approach the player right off the bat. You actually had to go to whoever they were, a, a PR or a security guy who was next to him? No, I think everybody th- assumed that we were getting a picture with them. But when we had, when we walked up to him, we were like, we don't want a picture. We just want you to say this into the mic. Yeah, because it wasn't really all that organized. They were just standing kind of like randomly they had in their, different yeah, places. Yeah, they had their security guy with them. But the security guy really wasn't like – I don't think he realized that most that anybody was going to come up with a – a question that wasn't photo related, you know. So they weren't just like free, you know, like free from, you know, wheeling through the uh, arena, just no, no, walking they around. To, they sat like uh, in a so certain part of the concourse, area. and you just then the lines formed wherever they were standing. Some guy had some guys had real big lines. A couple guys had really nobody. Yeah, I was one of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Here's our next one. Okay, let me back this one up. <laughs> we no, have to restart. No, I mean, yeah, this is really like like almost indecipherable. Though, what's going on here? Um, well, this is Walter's failed attempt to get Colville Chuck <laughs> after this. <laughs> after this, the, the recorder got taken. He tried though. So if he tried, then you know I got nothing to say. Well, he stood. Yeah, he stood out there for a long time. And this is one of those. It wasn't a line. It was just a mass of people that were kind of crushing in on him. And the dude really looked. First of all, he's super like clean cut, like hair parted yeah, on the side and shit. He has the strangest eyes. His eyes, his the not 
they're not big like the actual eyes. Looks like he's got no pupils. It's all like black. Yeah, it's all brown. The devil's eyes. He's got like uh, <laughs> like all, like, and there's no white on either side of his eyes. It's like it's almost all brown his eyes because his eyes are so big. You wonder if that's at least, like leads to something why he's so damn good. Because I mean, he can see everything with those eyes. Maybe, <laughs> 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 right? I mean, I mean, these eyes are really unnatural. I mean, they're they're kind of off putting when you're when I'm standing there watching them because you don't see any. It almost looks like my dog's eyes because you know have a dog you don't see any white of their eyes. Well, I'm sure you're off putting as you stare at them the entire time. <laughs> Never approach them because you're waiting for me. I was I was too busy getting the um, interview with Bogdan, and the catering dude. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, he's a tall dude too, man. He's a. Um, He's like six three or six four. Uh, yeah, he's a tall guy, and um, and he looked like he was a little nervous uh, throughout the whole thing as I was watching him, as I was watching his eyes. Um, he, people were approaching him, and he just looked like he was um, almost nervous to be taking part in the uh, at the at the uh, picnic. Yeah, like he didn't really seem. I mean, it can't be the first time people were asking for his autograph, no, but it was no, a it was all. a wave of people that were kind of crushing in on him and. I mean, he but, didn't look very comfortable. But I mean, I wouldn't like it either, man. It's like fucking dudes who are like getting right in your face and they're like, I fucking love you, man. You're so fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Take okay, my but, picture. And they're like hugging him and putting their arm on him and stuff. Like if you weren't, um, if he wasn't a devil, they wouldn't give a fuck about him at all, right? You know, like they see him in the street and he's on another, let's say he's on the Rangers. They'd be like, you're a oh, piece I, of shit. I, nah, if he's oh, a superstar, yeah. I think yeah, so. well, Maybe that's why. Maybe Freddie the Ranger fans could come in and do like Tanya Harding to his kneecaps or something. Take him out for the season. Mm-hmm. So anyway, this is Walt. All right, guys, you got to take your picture. On your picture, Is he hurt? No, he said no. Turned us down? Oh, the only guy. That's okay. <laughs> Cobalt checks this, though. I was like, no, 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 Oh, my God. This is what happens when you put Walt Flanagan in charge of a fucking interview. I don't think he understood a word I said. He, th- he looks scared of you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Our only failure. The season's young, Walt. He so. goes, I just take pictures. <laughs> I just take picture, comrades. Well, I think it's funny that you're like. Did they actually like, flat out say no, or did you didn't even well, get that close to him? I walked up to him and I, like I said, I was super nervous. I was like, um, I was totally intimidated because I was, I was super nervous asking him. So I walk up to him and I think I said everything in like one breath. I was like, Hey, I don't want a picture. Um, I just wonder if you'll say this into my <laughs> recorder. Um, this is Pug Nazi, um, and you're listening. This is Kovalchuk and blah, 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 blah. And he doesn't even have the recorder. I'm holding the recorder yeah. at the time. And Kovalchuk looks at me like, um, he, like he's out of sorts like he doesn't know what's going on he goes uh i just take picture where's your camera and i was like all right don't worry about it i turned the tail and ran away basically because when he because he he shot me down yeah i don't think he knew what you're doing so there was some sort of language barrier going on (laughs) i thought he was some terrorist we needed a translator why why the fuck am i a terrorist when i got the guy you talk around that that quickly long beard over there wouldn't he be the terrorist he wasn't near him you were the one that was asking the questions all I know is no one else thought I was a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got everyone else to get it. You got the catering guy. I mean, no, actually, explain? Brian secured about 99% of all the uh, people who said yes. It was good. You got Brian. the announcer. <laughs> got, what was his name? Matt LeBlanc. Matt Lachlan. Uh, I got, I got, didn't I? Oh, no, no. I, no, he was the only guy I got, Matt Lachlan. Yeah, him and I think Timmy gave you a couple quotes on the way home in the car. <laughs> I would think that's the most, like, out of any of them, that I would think that out of anybody that you would have interviewed that I would have thought that he would have got that one. Which it was one? just Matt Lachlan, because I wouldn't have thought he was actually there. It was just strange listening to his voice. <laughs> Wait a minute. So you're so far you're we've heard we've heard Brodor at the opening of the show, last week's show, and now you're more impressed with Matt Lachlan? I'm not saying more impressed, but I'm saying that you had a the You're barbecue saying, I can't is believe it. the barbecue is all <laughs> you think it's all players, and then all of a sudden the first one you play is an announcer. All right, so it's just a little different. I would think you would by that logic, you should be more impressed with it's, Bogdan the catering dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's still part he of the there. devil organization. <laughs> if they're part of the devil organization, they're fine. Uh, who's our next? Who's guy? next? It's uh, Patrick Ariaj speaking, and uh, I'm listening to Puck Nuts. Thank you. He's a huge Puck Nuts fan. Well, say thank you for Christ's sake. Thanks a lot. He's another awesome, guy that looked right? nervous. But he was another dude who looked like, a lot of them kind of look like, I wish I wasn't here. Yeah, yeah, Eliash looked like he was just yeah. going through emotions when his fans were, I mean, because it's like, I don't know, I guess it's got to be like weird, you know, people but coming I, up to I, them. It didn't just, strike me as like, I, don't, I think these people are dickheads. I, it struck me as more of like, 
that, like that kind of of crush of people, like that sort of social situation, like talking to that many people, maybe not they're all not into it. Yeah, Elish, like Bradora wasn't like that. No. Ralston wasn't like that. No, but uh, getting Elias, that's a coup, right, Joe? Yeah, that's, that's a good you, one. Two Very time good. Stanley Cup winner. Very good. Good enough for you. All, it's good enough for me. Yeah. Well, they're all good enough for us. It's not my show. The, uh, yeah, he is. Right he now, is. I mean, you've got to fucking give it up for for Elias. Maybe he might be worried though. Well, I think yeah. he, yeah, he might think he might be. Uh, He's got a no no trade clause. He's not going anywhere. They're never going to trade fucking Elias, the, the all time leading point scorer for the Devils. It's never going to happen. He did kind of look like a bookworm, though, didn't you think? Bookworm. Like he looked very studious. What's that? What do you mean a bookworm? He, he was like a like a thin dude with like like he didn't he wouldn't strike me as a hockey player. They got hockey players as being like big and shit, and he had like uh, he He's looked a thin he face, looked though, studious. Really? He looked academic. He was like kind of yeah. a smaller dude. Yeah. But um, he's a beast. Hi, this is uh, Martin Rudolph from the New Jersey Devils, and you're listening to Buck Nuts. Why? Well, I don't know. The thing I thought was funny about that was like he gives, he just gives this little quote, and people are start clapping for him. <laughs> They're like, "Yeah, Marty!" <laughs> he can do no wrong. That Did guy. he give you a problem? It so, seemed like yeah. he didn't give you a problem at all. Like he, he was actually totally into not, doing it. I mean, totally. So quickly said yes. Um, Good great delivery. guy, great guy. Yeah, and he was. He had a little fun with it. Um, yeah, I was. I was just blown away. So, out of all the ones there so far, who were the easiest ones to get? I mean, they actually went along with it, no all problem. Of them, all of them were easy, Everybody except, except for Kovalchuk. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there's one other guy that we. Uh, yeah, there's we come one other guy who says no. Only one other dude. Hi, this is John McLean. You're listening to the Puck Nuts. Puck Nuts. Oh, how am I doing? Puck Nuts. You want to do take two? Yeah, take two. Okay. Hi, this is John McLean, and you're listening to the Puck Nuts. John McClain. Wow. Johnny Mac. Got the coach, bro. your boat. Bang. Yeah, yeah Good, absolutely. Bang, Look how happy he is. You know what I forgot to mention with, um, <laughs> to pass with out. Elias, too, was that he says, uh, I'm listening to Puck Nuts. <laughs> he doesn't even say you're listening to Puck Nuts. I thought that That's was kind good. of funny. <laughs> Maybe he does. I like, I mean, when you cut that, I like how Johnny Mac messes up. Don't, yeah. don't, don't use his the second quote. Just use the whole thing. Yeah, of course. I just like how he says Puck Nuts. Yeah. Nice. I thought he thought he messed up and said, uh, he said the F word. No. Come on. It's a family show, this is a man. Fucking, oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> the fucking head coach. I know. Yeah. You, you don't know. mess up. <laughs> well, let's, hope, evidence by. Let's, let's hope not. Let's hope not. Let's hope he makes no mistakes this season. He won't. And you said he was a player, right? At one oh, time, he, was a, he, he, was. Was a great, he was a great devil player. He's got the never, he scored the most goals in double history. Really? Yeah. People never leave the team. They go on to do something else. Like we saw Terraria. Very who was family oriented. A uh, um, goalie at one time, right? Right. Yeah, now he's the coach. And now he's an assistant coach. Uh, there's a lot of loyalty in that organization. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot. Of, I mean, it's it's a it's a model that uh, you know you wish that the rest of the world would uh, partake in loyalty to your employees. Oh, well, like any sort of uh, extended family, like whether it be work or say even your real family. What do you mean? Like if you if your real family treated you like those devils treat each other, you'd feel a lot better. I know I would <laughs> from what I saw. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like you know, like in today's world. I wish world- PL3 was my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that, like um, in in today's world, where where you where you work. Uh, this place uh, is not a good example because I do think that we're all family in the View Skew universe. But um, <laughs> Jeff's the abuse steps up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, like in other workplaces, though, I, I, the environment is not family. I don't believe you know you're just a you're a number. You're yeah, a cog. You're, you're just a cog in the machine, and uh, I don't believe the Devils treat their their the players and the uh, the coaches and uh, even the um, I think even the uh, office workers are probably. I heard they get Stanley Cup rings too. So uh, the I mean, people that the, like the vendors that sell hot dogs and shit. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, oh, yeah, you should have seen these guys. They were so mad that the um, what was that? The Devil's Den. Mm-hmm. The Devil's Den wasn't open. Really they wanted to go buy shirts. That, I'm very surprised. That was, that was your store. The to be big open. one. The big one. The big devil. So you're surprised that the fucking announcer was there. Why wouldn't it surprise <laughs> you? Like I don't know what you wouldn't be surprised at. Then. <laughs> <laughs> no, they wanted to spend some money. Who, who who fucked that up? Do you think? Well, they opened the little devil dens around the concourse. They were open. Where was the barbecue? Was it outside? Is that the fire and ice lounge? And the other lounge? Yeah, fire and ice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So they had it actually inside then. Well, you thought it was out fucking? Well, usually most bar- well, you don't have a grill anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm saying most barbecues are usually held outside. At least I had a fucking barbecue this summer. Okay. <laughs> All right. You didn't have a barbecue. Well, yeah, you didn't have a barbecue at grill. Least, at least, though, I had an event at my house. An event. <laughs> it's a barbecue. That's a symbolic name. There you go. It's getting an outing. technical. <laughs> Embittered because he was working here instead of <laughs> quit back. That wasn't your- my doing. Stop accessing your dad, Jeff. <laughs> that's how. That's how. But we are like a family because we fucking piss and piss and vinegar with each other. But you mm-hmm. know. But then, we're like, as soon as the you know, as soon as the over, go off. yeah. Then the way now we're we all love yeah, each other. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. There's definitely loyalty, though. Yeah, I mean, I'd agree with loyalty that. to a fault at times. Well, it was like I'm carried away. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you don't look like Matt from uh, Sunny with a Chance. I mean, Sunny. Oh, um, Sunny? Yeah. I think turned you said that before, yeah. You're talking about Brian Ralston. You won't leave me alone about this. In fact, this has gone on over a year now. <laughs> Where he says that Brian Ralston looks like Mac from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> and when we first saw him, he looked at that. He like, grabbed me on the shoulder. Come on. T- tell me that does look like Mac. He looks like Mac, doesn't he? And like in his eyes, he kind of does a little bit. But you would think that like they're virtually twins. L- yes. Like it would, you, were, you would be incapable of telling them no, apart. Not, not the case. Nah, not really. <laughs> he was a nice guy, though. Oh, my God. Ralston. Ralston is a fucking hell of a dude, man. It's really accommodating. <laughs> you know, from what I could glean from, you know, 40 feet away as I watched you get the <laughs> oh, interview. he talked to us. I, I mean, what a nice dude, man. I really, really hope that he gets onto one of those two top lines this year and really fucking, you know, starts fucking. Well, Jeff rolled his eyes. What's that all about? I don't know what the fuck that was about. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fucking, I don't know what's going wrong. He might that. lose his place He's not, on the he, puck nuts. He might be looking for a new fucking puck nut. <laughs> <laughs> New contest. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the eye roll? I roll nothing. It's fine. <laughs> we'll see. We'll you think see. Ralston? I am. He scored twenty goals last year on a third line. In, in preseason though, this year I must he's admit he's good. he's looked really good. Yeah. He has he looked looks good. fast. But you know, I think bringing <laughs> some like of the Mac. players that they also <laughs> brought in. <laughs> he looks like Mac. Yeah, he does look like Mac. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I think that since they brought some of the other players up here, also like that. The lines are going to change around now. I think maybe he's got a little shot in the arm, too. I don't this show. understand why people are so down on, on his production. The motherfucker had 20 goals playing on the third and fourth line, basically, for the Devils. He's not playing with the real skilled players. He needs a chance to be in those top two lines and stay there for a while. True. Lemaire was just like, oh, you're, you're on this line today. Oh, you're on that line today. So he really never was given a chance to um, play with the top lines. Right? I agree. What, yeah. what line do you think will be on now, though? Hopefully, uh, what line do you think you'll be? On? I would love to see him on the, on the uh, oh, on a, a, a love oil if the Kolbachuk, Parisi, and Zajac line stays together. I, which I don't is. know how. It, I don't know how it's they're going to be able really to keep well, them though. together. Yeah, what are the chances of that? Do you think breaking them up of, the, of them staying on the same line? It might I don't be. Know. Good, they're playing they so well really together. Good. How can you break them up? But then you're also that that line thought is like, well, you don't put all your eggs in one basket. You still got Elias, Clark, well, Elias, and Arnott. I think are a must to play together at this point. So it falls to, does Ralston or Langebrunner play in that spot? The fuck what? does he know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't He's know. like starting to like really think about it. Hmm, let me see. <laughs> uh, quiet, Jeff. <laughs> but, but, where do you, but I also like that third line, though. When it, if you got Ralston and Clarkson on the line. it's a good line. And Zubris in the middle. That's yeah, a fucking Zubris, good third like line, Zubris. man. They're fucking loaded this year. But I thought he played much better at the end of the season, too, Ralston, last year. He did? He did play better in the second, second part of the season than he did the first. So I'm a big impressed. Ralston supporter now. Always have been. All right, let's go on. <laughs> well, yeah, do we play Ralston's soundbite? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I, Johnny Ken, we're not allowed to talk to anybody. Wait a minute, you didn't even play the thing about Ralston. Because Ralston wasn't next. Oh, I just I just saw Ralston from afar. I was like, look at his. Yeah, feet. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Because okay. <laughs> we were in line for Terraria at Got this so point. so excited. And this is what Terraria is shooting us down. You know what? I, Johnny Ken, we're not allowed to talk to anybody. Really? Yeah, we're not. None of the assistants. Oh, none of the assistants? You no. Know, only John is the only one that's. I'm going to look into that. Yeah. I don't like the censorship that's been going on. He said, he said they're not allowed okay. to. All right. You're going you're gonna to take that, though. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, anyway. I, I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> I couldn't even fucking understand anything that was going on in here. Because he said that uh, he wasn't allowed to 
to make a to uh, have have a comment. As an assistant coach, like he said, McLean could, but he couldn't. And he said, oh, okay. And I said, well, you're just going to take that? And you go, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Terrari uh, declined. He's Which, a little dude, Terrari. Terrari. I, I, I saw on NHL Classic, um, there was like the top 10 uh, Penguins, Devils playoff games of all time. 1991, Terrari's in goal against the Penguins. It really looks like there's like a, a ten year old kid. Yeah, his playing. head's barely going over the goalpost. It's crazy how tiny he looks in, in the uniform. I mean, and his equipment is so much smaller too than nowadays. I mean, they, when you go down nowadays and you, um, and you when you show that camera angle when uh, a player is coming down the wing, and they show you from his like from his point of view, mm-hmm. his POV, you come in on a Lundqvist. There's fucking no room in yeah. the net. There's no room to shoot in the net. Everything is covered because his pads and his equipment's so big. On you know, when Terrari was in net with his his little tiny equipment, it looks like the, like you could put the puck anywhere you want. There's so much room. He's still a good goalie, though. Oh, he was a great goalie. Me? <laughs> <Ming? laughs> are you focused? You're, are you're, you a, you're <laughs> here, Ming. You're a fellow little guy. <laughs> what I am, but, I, this, but, uh, but I don't play goalie. So uh, hats, hats hats off to uh, Chris Terrari. How are we going to keep our fucking status as number one? And, you're, and, you're, and he's drinking fucking Red Bull too. How can <laughs> that's, you, that's right. You're I'm like getting, you're about to pass out over there. Getting amped up. <laughs> Come on, perk up. We got something. We got some Ming centric stuff coming up. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you uh, had a good weekend because you missed out on a pregnant chick with the devil's insignia painted on her stomach and um, ha, vacuuming. <laughs> Priceless, dude. Thanks. Thanks a lot. There was some pregnant lady running around and lifting up her. She had, like she's pregnant. She yeah. had the devil's insignia painted on her pregnant stomach. She was like eight uh, months pregnant too. Wow! And then offered to be our official model. Really? Yeah. Yeah. After after the birth. After the birth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was surprised that she did a Ming impression that like (laughs) basically strangers. Yeah. (laughs) Out of nowhere, I was like, "How did you know Ming sound like that?" (laughs) I didn't cut anything out of that. No instructions or anything. (laughs) Um, And then I guess this is the. I think we got more guys though. We got more guys. But this is the last clip. Where's Zajac? Hmm, hold on a second. Give it all away. Well, let's you're all let's good play guys. this one. Hey, this is Brian Ralston, the New Jersey Devils, and you're listening to Puck Nuts. Ming, you should have been here. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. That's awesome. Wait, wait you miss Ajax. He has a great line. <clears throat> Does he? I um, yeah. You know what? I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to find it. I'm sorry. I must because I was like going. I just cut out everybody, and I must have missed that somehow when I was skipping through. Yeah, because he he has a really great line. Hmm. Right. You fucking didn't discard it, did you? No, I still have it. Oh, okay. At home? No, I have it here. Oh, okay. We'll use it on... Uh, well, we'll save it for... Yeah, for, uh, next week. For this week's show. For this week's opening. Okay. Okay. Okay, awesome. you'll It'll find surprise. it. Awesome. Yeah, hey, that's, a, that's a good idea. It's uh, Ajax. It's Ajax, but he has a good line. So we're going to be talking... Now we're talking about something you've already heard. <laughs> if it's at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Get ready for your surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be a surprise for, the, for two puck nuts who weren't there. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you for including me. By you the got way. it, man. Yeah, I appreciate Ralston. it. Ralston knows of your existence. Ralston man. said my name. Mm-hmm. He sounded into it too. He sounded he like there was a you know like I'm telling you, man. What can I do for you guys? I don't think there's a. I don't think there's a an unfriendly guy in the Devils. Do you think um, people that uh, aren't Devils fans, and I ask this because I've read a couple tweets and emails where. Uh, they're, they're just already in one week disgusted <laughs> listening to you guys fillet the devils. <laughs> well, I, mean, I saw somebody wrote like, is this just going to be a, a devil's dick sucking show? And I was right. like, yeah, <laughs> duh. What, right. I mean, what did so, you think it was going to be? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because we talked about some football the first week. They thought it wasn't going to be all devils cock sucking. Yeah, people came down on that too. So, you what, know, football? The football? Yeah. It's like, oh, you go in 10 minutes and you're talking about football already? No, so. we're talking about football. We're talking about boners. Um, speaking of football, um, have, did you, Walt, did you, oh, unless you let, hold on, let me, uh, do you have something you want to, no, you, no, you have no, uh, no. notes and a schedule no, and these everything. Are Ming, these are Ming's notes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> have you seen the, uh, I saw, I was flipping around and I saw it on MTV 2 or 3 or something, this lingerie football league. Have you seen it yeah, at it's, all? It's indoor league. I've seen that. 
It's an indoor league <laughs> of what's up? Well, why the fuck is that like? Like it's an indoor league. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Why no, does that make it's, a he's talking about football. Point. It's it's I don't know. Philadelphia. I forgot the name of the team, but I've seen it's them. Women in lingerie, right? Yeah, they're barely in. La- Here's the thing about this league, though, is one they're ba- they're kind of in lingerie. They're like in uh, like it looks like they're in bikinis, but, but why, with pads but why and is helmets. That like something uh, like that, like that to comment that has to be like it's an indoor league. I don't know. Yeah, well, you to- ask the guy who made the comment. <laughs> well, if it's lingerie, going to be playing out in thirty fucking degree weather. <laughs> I mean, if you're I mean, to, you would think like when Brian says it's a. It, did you hear about this lingerie league? It's you, been out for a while. Like, oh, yeah, it's, it's all girls, it's, but it's an indoor guys, football. League. That would be it's your not first a, thing to come around. Like, oh yeah, it's an indoor league, <laughs> which it is. <laughs> you asexual fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just uh, the thing like I've seen like the the lingerie bowl. I guess a couple of years ago, it was like it was it was those girls who didn't know how to play, like in in the Super Bowl. I guess it was like during halftime. Have you seen these girls? They're fucking ripped. Have you seen they this? Play good. Yeah, yeah, Answer yeah. me, you cocksuckers. Yes, I have. <laughs> I have seen it. Like it's like real football. We haven't like, seen it. But, I've seen it. I've seen, I've seen it. Guys, Where did you it? see it? It's I've seen the it's Philadelphia an indoor team. It's, it's an indoor league. <laughs> Philadelphia. I forgot the name of the. Um, Where did you see it? It's on TV. It's on a Philadelphia station. Wherever I was browsing through the network one day and I saw it. It was actually on uh, on TV. Gary, what are you watching? <laughs> 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 it is weird though because my my the thing is I guess it's supposed to be like draw guys in because it's sexy. Right. It's not though. It looks no. like girls that are completely ripped that are playing real football with enough padding on that you're like oh, wait a minute. I don't know. Uh, like, they I don't have know. padding all over their laundry. Yeah. 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 So yes. They have like shoulder pads and they have like it's well, style. Well, their legs like, are exposed like, and their stomachs are kind of exposed. What kind of? But I think that it's the uh, for people who are into that. People, I guess, who like to see women like smash up against other women and then. Oh, you a think pile that's what it's about? Women. Yeah, when there's a pile of women on the ground, like chicks dog piling. Yeah, I, I think that to that to that weirdos who are into that. Mm. I don't think it matters if you see if they have pads on or anything. Like here you go. Like that's a little bit of a clip there. It's almost like rollerball kind of padding. Oh, it's yeah, not like that really is an full. Indoor league. <laughs> yeah, you see, it's indoor league. <laughs> I see nothing but the indoors. <laughs> Why the fuck would that be your like your your um, involvement uh, of, on that subject? That it was an indoor league because it's first thing came to mind. It's indoor league, <laughs> <laughs> not the TNA. <laughs> well, there is none of that. <laughs> Doesn't that does strike you as weird? It is strange. Uh, <laughs> it is odd. It's, all right. So tell them. I mean, so um, Bri, <laughs> everything I do is odd. So, so it doesn't Bri, really you're matter. you're this week. You're you're p- pimping the um, the women's laundry league. I'm really not. Yeah, it was just uh, a mention. I thought I might be able to get into some some kind of sports action this week, and then when I saw it, and the other thing is, like, did you notice this, Ming? I know you fucking watched it for a while. Um, <laughs> between every single play, that that graphic of that silver football comes spinning at the at the screen. Did you notice that? I don't think he's even. I don't even know if he fucking even he, knows what you're talking about. You're I, I think drunk. he's. I think he's asleep no. with his eyes open. He does look out of it, doesn't he? He's, he's still in shock. I'm not out of it. Now, well, how many Red Bulls is that for you? This is this is half right here. Okay. I don't know. I feel like it's. I don't, I don't think next week no more Red Bulls for you, bro. <laughs> Wouldn't that just make it worse? I don't know. I don't know. You you were fine the previous weeks without no Red Bull. This week, no. I had the Bull. I had the huge one last week. Maybe that was the trick. I need the double time one. We're gonna sink down to like member four or five now. We are already sinking, to be honest with you. It's We've like, sunk. Yeah, yeah. So we're not we're like number three now. Oh God, damn it, Ming! What do we do? We'll be back. All right. Keep talking about the lingerie <laughs> bowl. That's how. I couldn't even recommend it unless you like girls that are mostly covered up, or you like the indoors. Uh, <laughs> it's probably not that's for a you. weird fetish <laughs> indoor football no. imagine that yeah like his wife's like how could you look at those girls he's like no no you don't understand i just like indoor leagues <laughs> weather's not a factor oh, look at that dome <laughs> <laughs> that must be so warm in there <laughs> astroturf <laughs> all right back to hockey brian well how much time we got left are we done uh we got <laughs> 42 minutes. We can go for another 10. Three minutes, okay. Go for another 10. Uh, All right. Well, well, we don't have much to cut out. Everything was gold today. So um, (laughs) do you want to to, uh, talk about our contest, Ming? Uh, Yes. Still going on? Yes. Still going on until uh, October 31st, Halloween. We've got a lot of good submissions, but uh, keep them coming. 
I'll fucking tell them where to go to. Tell them what, like, for any new listeners this week. Uh, tell them about our new email, our new Twitter. Uh, uh, bitch. Running a contest where uh, we're trying to get a press photo. He's grown complacent, this guy. I don't know what the Which pressure are you on? putting on a guy with a... Come on, let me, bitch. Let me, let me talk. Let me talk. Uh, the contest is outlined on our new blog, which is uh, pucknuts.wordpress.com. You're going to be keeping up on that blog, right? I've definitely been keeping up. I posted photos from the preseason game I went to last night. Uh, there's video of Kovalchuk's, Kovalchuk's uh, fantastic game-winning goal. Right. The pictures of our shrine here at Jane Sound Bob Secret Stash. So but I will you, be but keeping you're, up you're with that. that. You're gonna you're gonna update that blog. On I will. Basis. Okay, I will. All right. I'm glad, happy Six here. seven times a day. <laughs> it, it could so, come. It so could come to that. Everything about the contest. If you were interested in the contest, entering it, go to that blog. So if you're artistic, did you if give um, the address. Uh, Puck, I did, uh, but again, okay. pucknuts.wordpress.com. When a, when a trip to, to the You're talking levels. over him. He tried to give the, the goddamn. <laughs> Say it again, man. So, what a trip to see the, uh, the, the the devils with the puck nuts, right? Yes. Um, okay. we'll, we'll pick out a primo game for you to come to uh, the Rock and watch a game with us. And if you can't make it to the Rock, let's say you live in another part of the world, you get a signed Signed puck authentic nuts jersey. devil's jersey. Signed by the puck nuts. Signed by the puck nuts. All right. Um, Will we be doing merchandise, man? Will we have some official Puck Nuts jerseys coming down the pike? Uh, that might be um, if we get a good submission for this press photo we're looking for. Um, we're going to exploit it as much as we can, this okay. photo, and um, you know, not pay the person. So be who, aware your work could be used. Uh, as a matter of fact, it probably will be to uh, profit, to line our own pockets. Okay. <laughs> Um, you want to give that shout out to that tattoo parlor that's going to give us free tattoos? I do. Um, last week. Well, should they give us the tattoos first? No. Yeah. Last week this we is, we give shout at, out to at, this show. You're at the fucking wheel, dude. Yeah. You're at the tiller. Yeah. Go right ahead. Last week we proclaimed that if the Devils win the Stanley Cup this year, we're all getting uh, Devils tattoos and a, uh, a, a tattoo parlor, Monarch, tar- Monarch Tattoo in Newfoundland, New Jersey. Has uh, graciously stepped up and uh, offered free tattoos for all four of us. If that should happen, I saw somebody uh, wrote on a on a some website, some message board that uh, they thought maybe people would like to join us in that. Yeah, and I say I'm all, I'm all for it. Any listener who Do wants it. to uh, get in on it, but we never decided if we were all going to get the same tattoo or not. It doesn't matter as long as we get a a, a devil centric tattoo mm-hmm. with the cup with a with a little Stanley Cup in it. Somehow, I think that's enough. Right. We don't know. We'll have to get the same exact tattoo. Okay. That might be a future contest, though. Uh, get a Pucknuts tattoo. Win a contest. Win a trip. Uh, win another trip with us to a game. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, if they get a Pucknuts tattoo. Oh, if they get a Pucknuts yeah. tattoo. All right. Yeah, Put really, some more thought into it. I really that. don't want to fucking attend a game with some psycho who gets a Pucknuts <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> As Ming pulls his sleeve down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me neither. <laughs> Uh, all right, so real quick, um, Devils uh, won their first preseason game of the year last last night. Um, I didn't get to see it. I uh, it wasn't on TV. I watched the Ranger game though the other night. That that top line looks in mid season form. Uh, hey, I love I love the what? No, can I interrupt you for a second? Wasn't he uh, not going to go to that game for some reason? Oh, yeah, Sunday, oh, Jeff. Because uh, up your nose, right? Yeah, yeah. But I did go. Yeah, he, he thought there was no free food or something. Yeah, he, he was like, he fuck this He thought there was shit. no free food, so he wasn't going to the preseason I still game. went. And he still, I still went. He still went. <laughs> he though. manned up. Um, I was there supporting the team. I love the I love the um, the intensity of the preseason game between the Rangers and the Devils that night. I thought yeah, it was, was. Uh, I thought it was really intense, and um, Avery was up to his old tricks. And I think at this point, if I'm on the Devils, and you know Avery's going to pull that shit. Stop trying to engage him and uh, trying to goad him into a fight. He's never going to fight anybody, unless he wa- he wants to fight Kovalchuk, obviously, but that's never going to happen. But at this point, if you're on the, if the Devils have to, if he's going to pull that shit and and uh, harass Kovalchuk and harass Brodeur, the Devils have to then be like, all right, we got to go after Gabrick, and we got to go after Lundqvist. Don't you agree? I mean, that's the only solution to this. If he's going to keep pulling that shit, I don't think they're a dirty team like that, though. I think that they stick. They they rather go after the player that's giving them the problem. And I was I was impressed with Kovalchuk. How's that being though. dirty, though? Because now you're playing at their level, and you don't want to do that. You rather play Why? just Why? because. Why? What's good? Was it, it, what? You, you, here's a taste of your. Here's a dose of your own fucking medicine. You fucking Sunday Jeff takes the high road, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're telling me that that would stop it right there. You went and called when, uh, what's his, what's that fucking guy's name? Avery slash Kovalchuk. If he's going to be slashing Kovalchuk, then they, you got, you got to take a couple slashes at, uh, Gabrick then. You got to go and get in, in uh, Lundquist's grill. You got to, uh, you got to do exactly what he's doing to, to your team. You got to do to them then. And I think then it would stop. Yeah, it's not like it's, it's just escalate. I think I would think so it would what? escalate more. But you already got a great rival between the two teams, and I thought that Kovalchuk stood his ground. I mean, I was there at the game. I saw, and oh, he I still got he still got the my he still got more of a penalty. Avery, he got he took the yeah, he took the misconduct. So who, he doesn't care about the misconduct, and, and I, I mean, I, actually, to be well, he does if you score goals. Told, I love I actually love what Avery does this because it makes the game so much more fun. I love the uh, the passion that all the players get and the. Uh, the theatrics of it all. I mean, to me, it's like, it's, it's awesome. But I just can't stand to see, uh, the devil's challenge Avery and him never going to drop the gloves. So he almost, he was close though with Clarkson Saturday. He's never he going to fight Clarkson. But Clarkson it's basically been three places, years. but he plays his role. Clarkson's basically the Avery of the devils. He basically no, plays not. that role. He's not, he's not, he doesn't act like Avery. Are you kidding no, me? No, but he's the he instigator. He had a chance to, he, uh, Clarkson had a chance. He, he actually fought that ranger and that ranger went on the ground and, and, and Clarkson's arm was, his fist was cocked to punch him. Mm-hmm. He didn't punch him. But he was that's on the ground. Kind of, that's the kind of player that Clarkson is. He has some honor and he has some, uh, he wants the respect of his, of his teammates and the other team. He has a threshold. Avery doesn't ha- doesn't want any any, of the, any respect from anybody. It doesn't look like. But well, you've matter. seen that. But uh, with all the stuff when he was on Dallas and all the other teams, he's he's just a problem player. Right. So at this point, the solution I think at this point is if you're going to do this to, to shit to Kovalchuk, then be prepared for for Gabrick to have a fucking hellish evening. Then. To an extent, if it's going it's, after oh him, God. if no you're going Kovalchuk after, looks so scared. He's got people <laughs> no, going Kovalchuk, after him. <laughs> Kovalchuk ain't scared. No, trust ain't me, scared. he ain't scared. He ain't scared, of Avery. That's for sure. <laughs> but, but for God's sake, man, what you, you've never heard of? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. He's heard sure. to turn the other cheek. This guy, you're, you already got uh, you know enough fines. Let the league deal with it for once. Let the league deal with it. What what the league? What's the league going to do for it for the chirping? Because the eventually, if it keeps on going, they're going to wind up. That's it. You just – how much more can you deal with the guy? I mean it's like Watch you just can't it. deal with it anymore. Pacifist. All right, Ming. I think um, – I think, you know what? Concentrate on scoring goals. Just don't don't let him get to you. Take the high road like Jeff. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to fuck both of them after we're done with this show because they're both fucking little girls. <laughs> What do you want to do? You want to sit there and hit him over the head with a stick? I mean, no. What are you talking? I'm not talking about it because you can't just, do those things anymore. What are you talking about you. You can't go and make Gabrick's night miserable. Okay, you can. All right. Now, what happens if you take the misconduct and they score in power play goals against you? Is it worth it to take the penalty? <laughs> whatever he, whatever they're dishing out to Kovalchuk, whatever Avery's doing to Kovalchuk and Brodeur, you're telling me. Don't go do. Don't give. Uh, let them. Let the Rangers have a free ride. The With, other players within the rules of the game. I agree. I'm not if saying it, cross the line and okay. break the if rules. If it's not within break, well, Avery breaks the rules. There's a difference. Avery does break the rules. He he pushes the limit. He definitely breaks the rules, late uh, Avery. All right. Uh, anything you got to say about this Rangers shit, Bry? Who's Avery? He, he's, a, he's, a, he's some. He's, he's a pest. The Rangers. Mm. He's always good. actually he does his job fantastic though. He is like the he's greatest. The, well, best. if you want to, he's basically the Lemieux of old. Oh, don't no no <laughs> you fucking gotta be kidding me. Strike that from the record. Man, How the fuck could shit, you man. dare call Avery a Lemieux, a guy who's a con Smythe winner who just what every time there was a big game. I just say he was a dirty player. Big goals. What is it? How many fucking cups did Lemieux win? Four. Yeah. Okay, Avery doesn't deserve to be fucking mentioned. He doesn't in the same paragraph, let alone the same sentence as fucking Lemieux. I'm saying about his role. I'm he's basically, yeah. I'm, but I'm saying about his role. He's an instigator. I didn't say he's a dirty player, but he Who? he was. He Who? played an instigator Who? in in a lot of the Who games. The fuck are we talking about Lemieux? Lemieux definitely was an instigator. Yes, but, but he was but he, not. But he was a big game player who scored big, timely goals, and he was a key to almost every well to every championship 
that he was on. He was not some like clown. No, he's not. He a was clown. a huge part of it. Avery's a clown at this point. But I'm saying as far as the instigator role, he he definitely was an instigator. I'm not saying that that Avery's not a, a a great player, which he's you can't compare the two players as far as like statistics. Lemieux's a much better player, without a doubt. <laughs> but he definitely played a instigating role in all the games that he played with the Devils. That was his role. Was to get under people's skin, was it not? Who? Lemieux. Yeah, he was. His role was to uh, to get under people's skin, but he also are you. I mean, the goals that that guy scored were big, big goals. Avery will never do that in the NHL. He will never be that player. He will never have that kind of pressure and uh, just live for it like that. He'll never be that kind of player ever. And I, I just can't stand when people say, "Oh, he's like Lemieux." Me neither. So I say, Sunday, <laughs> Jeff, get your head out of your ass, and Rangers eat nuts! Find more funny shit like this at Smodcast.com. Scott, there are seven great shows available over at Smodcast.com. This is my commercial voice. I know. I want uh, You have to go in authentic in order to sell anything. If you, are, if you ever try to sell something for real, where you're like, hey, man, would you listen to this podcast network, please? People go, it's a position of weakness. I smell blood in the water. Let's kill smell- this fat pig. <laughs> <laughs> like in that movie and that book, you know, about the kids. <laughs> um, Smodcast.com. Good call. Yes, good callback. Smodcast.com. It's all free. It's all funny. Smonsters of talk.